A site designed with responsive web design principles responds to the size of the screen or device that is being used to access it. CSS can be written so that the content may resize, move, hide or enlarge in a way that is appropriate for the device accessing it. We have already met one element of responsive web design, the meta element viewport. The viewport is the area of the page that the user can currently see. By setting the width of the viewport to the width of the device and the scale of the document to 100% of its intended size, 1.0, we ensure the content looks good on mobile devices. Let's have a look at how this page looks with and without the viewport meta item. In Google Chrome, you can access web developer tools by pressing F12 and from there you can simulate a mobile device by pressing Control, Shift and M. With the viewport set, you can see the page scales well and displays at the intended size. Without the viewport, the page is not presented well at all on mobile device. The max width CSS property can help create responsive pages. Here we have a class rule that sets the width of an image to be 95% of the width of the screen. It looks fine on fairly small viewports, but as the screen gets larger, the image becomes too big. We can remedy that by setting the max width property. This specifies the maximum possible width of an element. Let's set it to 600 pixels and see what happens. The image responds to the screen size until it reaches 600 pixels after which it does not increase in size.